Te amo muito. It's so cute. It's Deixa so cute. Lá, porque depois o Roger fala. Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for the Christmas special. I don't know why I did this. The Christmas special for a stupid wife. Uh, it, it has four episodes or four parts. I'm going to react to all four parts on this video because, you know, they're very short. And I, I was like, what will I want to do like separate? So I'm going to react to all of it at the same time okay so one single reaction for all four parts i hope you guys don't mind hope you guys enjoy i hope you guys you know continue supporting for more because i will be doing more reaction videos for stupid wife um i've been told that there's another another channel uh poncho off or something like that i don't know how to pronounce it poncho 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 i don't know um where there are like behind the scene videos and like the girls reacting the, the the actresses reacting to the episodes and things like that um and i'm i'm definitely gonna subscribe to that channel i, I already subscribed but i'm gonna join the channel so i can watch like behind the scenes interviews things like that hopefully they are all subtitled <laughs> at least i don't know at least in in, in portuguese because Sometimes Portuguese and Spanish, we share some words. It might be pronounced differently, but, you know, so I might be able to understand. But what I've been told, which is very, like, it sucks, to be honest, is the fact that the episodes are released uh, ahead of time on this website where you can buy them, but they are not available with subtitles in English. So... I have to wait for the release of the episodes on on the channel on on uh, here on on YouTube so I can watch them because it, it, then they have the subtitles there. So I'm going to have to wa to wait, which I'm not very happy with. <laughs> so anyways, we're going to do the uh special like the reaction for the special episode uh for stupid wife the special the Christmas special episode and if i'm not wrong this happens prior to luisa losing her memory so yeah we are gonna uh watch that and i bet it's gonna be interesting it's gonna be a lot you know we're gonna see all the things that the friends say that they had a lot of chemistry and all. i mean we have seen the chemistry but we're gonna see them how they were before everything happened so i'm excited for that and I hope you guys are excited as well. So don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you're watching this on YouTube. Subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. Anka Reaction will always be posted first on Patreon in case you guys want to check that out. Link, as always, will be in the description down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all your support. You guys are incredible. And for now, I think that's about it. Without further ado, let's just begin with the Christmas special for Stupid Wife. This is part one. Here we go. Or episode one. Here we go. Twenty twenty one. And when is the show in present time set? Twenty twenty three. My son till this day keeps asking me for a brother. I told him I can get you a dog. Or another video game. <laughs> I'm not getting you a child, a, a child, you know, a brother. I'm sorry. The factory is closed. It's not gonna reopen. Sorry. <laughs> Leo. Oh, oh my I'm God. Mamãe vai deitar agora, mas amanhã a gente conversa. Tá bom, eu vou dormir aqui com a lua. Oh um shit. O peixoto ele é muito gelado para dormir. Socorro! Socorro! <laughs> Oh, the innocent of the kid. Wait, so is it that? Okay, who is which one of the two is the one that lost the baby? Because one of them did. 
and the spring. Oh my god. Ah, that's so cute. That is so cute. Honey, just don't think too much about it. Oh, God. I don't know. I don't know what, what I would do. I mean, when I had my kid, I was like, that's the only one I'm going to have. That's it. <laughs> Not doing that shit again. Falando nele. Oi. Ah, hello. A little bit. Vou deixar vocês dois conversar. That's so cute. That's so cute. O Leo tá lá no jardim. That's so cute. Senta aqui. Ele tá se amarrando. Pintar. Oh, that's so cute. Tá de som da nossa família, então. É. Acho legal, sabe? Bom. <laughs> they don't like each other that much. I I can feel it. I don't think Luisa likes her that much. Well, I don't like her, so we good. Vou ter a comidinha dele aqui. Se quiser, eu posso te ensinar. Eu posso dizer direitinho o que que tem que ser feito com o nosso Léo, porque eu não aguento mais isso todo. Chega! Chega! Eu não tô aguentando mais. Que? Você me humilhando, me diminuindo. Você é minha mãe, como é que você faz isso comigo? Mas oh eu não tô God. te humilhando, te diminuindo, minha filha. Eu só tô dizendo a verdade. Right. Que There's some sabe? some parents think that they, they they you know, they know what is the right thing, the truth, you know. Eu tô dizendo que você precisa ouvir. Hum. Mm, right. Todo mundo sabe. Mas o fato é que você falhou oh na sua vida. Oh my god. Você não conseguiu corresponder a nenhuma expectativa sua. Não, your você expectations. Você quis ter filho. Mas nem para isso você serviu, você não serve para nada, Valentina. Cala a boca, Catarina. Oh my god, I will I will slap a bitch. Tá I will slap a bitch so hard. I will slap a bitch so I will slap. I don't care that this woman is older than me. I will slap that crap out of her. How dare she say that? Tell her own daughter that she's useless? The audacity of this woman to come here and say those things. And like the fact is like even even with that, with what she just said, years after she's still visiting her? Why haven't we cut ties with this bitch? Oh my god, I don't want to see that again. Quem é você? Eu pra sou esposa da Valentina e você tá dentro da minha casa. Yes, true. Eu não Tell tô her. nem aí se você é mãe dela ou não. Okay, Agora yes. você sai daqui. Você right now! Acabou que me mandar sair daqui. Assim. Sai daqui, Catarina, você tá na minha casa. Yeah, Vai exactly! Tirar. Sai! Right now, bitch! I swear God? Oh, I love, we love protective, we love protective Luisa, we love protective Luisa. I can't believe, so it was her, right? That's why they're telling us. That it was her, the one that lost the baby. Right? That's why everybody kept quiet because it's something that she needed to talk about. Yes, you are. Eu tenho muito, muito orgulho de você. Baby. Da pessoa merda que eu sou. I don't like this. Quando a minha mãe tá certa. <laughs> no, don't say that. Don't Primeiro say that. Como filha. Depois eu falei como mãe. No, don't say that. You're the best mom. Agora falei com você porque nenhum filho consigo te dar. Oh God. Oh God. But you're. Não, but you're a mom. She's a mom. I mean, not because. Um, Valentina, you're a mom. You're a great mom. You're a great mom. Oh my god. 
Espera. Deixa sozinho, por favor. Oh, Valentina. Oh, I wanna cry. I wanna cry because, like, the entire thing, you know, that Valentina's mom said is so, like, the amount of damage that she's doing to her own daughter. Like, you, honestly, you can't see that there are uh, women, you know, people out there who have all this love to give, right? They, that, and, and, and for one reason, for another, they can conceive or whatever, you know, it's, it, it's not happening. They can't even adopt or they're not on a list or whatever way you know and it's so sad because these people have so much love to give and then you have ungrateful people like that bitch Katarina right that's her name right you have people like them that in order for a child to receive your love they have to meet certain expectations right of who you have to love who you have to marry like the amount of kids you have to have and like there's always some type of, of thing that you have to earn their love, right? You have to earn their love and that's so disgusting and they get to be parents. It's so fucking unfair and like Valentina is like the great, like one of the best moms ever next to Luisa. I, I just, well and Judah as well, right? But like, Katarina, we are going to burn her on the stake. I swear to God, she I, she might be a witch. I think. <laughs> Episode two. Can I guess? This? Droga. Oh my God, que honey. Só que não consigo fazer nada direito. I'm gonna guess she's not hey. a handsy type of lesbian. Quem é minha guerreira? <laughs> she's so cute! <laughs> the fuck is wrong? <laughs> Poor deer! <laughs> oh. Se vocês precisarem de um tempo. <laughs> não, sério. <laughs> Léo pode ficar lá em casa, pô. Carinha vai adorar ficar com a gente. <risos> não, 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 não. Ih, ó, Igor! Desastrado, tá vendo? Vai, tá saindo da cozinha. Vai, saindo da cozinha. Ah, e você ainda tá me expulsando da minha própria cozinha. A cozinha é sua, mas a cozinha é do seu. Vai. Olha, eu vou. Mas eu volto, tá? Bem rapidinho. Tá, vamos trocar então. Tá. Te amo. Te amo mais. Ó! Oh. I love that. I love you. I love you. Love you more. Ah, it's so cute. Oh, look at him. What are you doing? Wait, is she getting pregnant again? Without Luisa and without Valentina knowing? What is happening? Please don't tell me that they stop. They need to stop talking in riddles. That's what they need to stop doing. Episode three is this one where they look all hot and bothered. We love. Episode three. Oh. Oh. In Leo's room. Luisa, para. O que, que foi? Você não quer? <risos> que foi que tá todo mundo lá embaixo? E o que que tem? Oh. I approve of this. I approve. Te amo, sabia? Sabia. Eu geralmente causo isso mesmo nas pessoas. Não, Vai ficar por isso mesmo. Yeah, uh -huh. I'm all hot and bothered. Eu causo isso nas pessoas. <laughs> oh my god, the tease! <laughs> We're going to the shower, Ryan. We're going to the shower. Oh, yes. 
We love horny lesbians. We love. Ué, hum. vai ficar aí me espionando? Não. Tá achando que vai me deixar pegando fogo da <risos> Claro. Oh my god! We're gonna have a sex scene in a Christmas episode! What is this? I'm going I'm going to start having a seizure, I throw that. Oh my god! Oh, she went like a little bit rough! Okay! Oh! Am I, 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 do I look insane? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Can they stop? Do they practice this or they just like go at it like... The level of intimacy between these two. Like, the level of intimacy. Like, that's what gets me the, the most. Like, are they two hot women? Yes. Naked. What like it, it will work right and under any circumstances, but like the level of intimacy that they share. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> don't show me titties because I I will die. I will die. I know they. Oh my god. Oh, look at her! She's getting chills. Do you do you see her skin like getting the chills? <gasps> Honestly, how do they do it? I mean, not it, but like, how is it that they don't fall in love with each other in real life <laughs> after sharing scenes like this? I like. Oh! Okay, I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna shut up. Oh! <laughs> Ay, Dios mío, what the fuck? Oh my god. I need a break. I need, I need, I need a break. I need a break. I don't, I can't continue. I need to breathe. They are unreal. This is unreal. Chemistry like this, you don't get this like that often. Okay. 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 And the spring is yet to unfold. <laughs> that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Be that was beautiful. And your love. Are they still horny after that? Oh my god, girlies. Behave. <laughs> no, it's just like the little touches are so sensual between them. They're so in love. Like no one no wonder. Valentina was like, you know, miss this when when everything was happening, you know. Oh my god! They're saying I love you, I love you more. That's so cute. Also, Brazilians also wait until midnight. Será que eu não posso vir desejar feliz Natal para minha família? Are you here to apologize, bitch? So sorry. But is she? Cause like otherwise she can walk out. Luisa is ready to throw punches and so what so what by Episode four Final episode. Leo e Valentina. Porque não queria mais ser humana. Queria ser uma múmia. Ah, isso é bem a carinha da Valentina. Ai, tem uma. Olha. Ela raspou metade da sobrancelha. Não que eu seja preconceituosa. Não é isso. Não? Really? Because like two episodes ago, which was like 20 minutes ago for me, you did. Mas eu também não posso dizer que não foi um choque. Você. That's when she realized she was a lesbian? She wasn't a lesbian before, Luisa? Vem cá. Senta aqui. I wouldn't do that. 
If she offers you an apple, if she offers you an apple, don't eat it. I'm pretty sure she's a witch. Pretty sure. E nós já tivemos nossas diferenças. Para você e para minha filha. Ok. Ok. Eu também te devo desculpas. Eu. No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. You were defending your wife. You don't need to apologize. She doesn't need to apologize. She did what was right to protect her her wife. No. Você não se exaltou, não. Yeah, no. Você foi forte. Maleoa. Yeah. <laughs> True. Tomando conta. She has such a big heart. É Natal. Yeah. Christians get like this around this time and then they forget the next day. On the 26th they get all judgy again. <laughs> I believe Valentina. I don't know about her. I don't know about her. I believe in I believe Valentina. I don't believe half of the witch thing. Aquela coisa de sempre, né? Ela super fofa, se fazendo de querida. Tudo que ela não é, né? Luísa. Quem foi, pai? É a verdade, eu estou com ela. nossa família não é assim. Oh, Amigo seu. Oh, filha, não fala assim. Eu tenho é certeza verdade. que ela não fez por mal. Ah, bitch. I mean... <laughs> I, I, I I understand why she's skeptical. It looks like this is not the first time this bitch has done this. <laughs> I love Lisa. I fucking love Lisa. We do the exact same thing here in Peru. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> it's for free? Tem uma particularidade, tá? Ela é a nossa Angelina Jolie brasileira. Nossa não. Me. Yes! <laughs> Oh, so they do tell her that. But she does look a bit like Angelina Jolie. I mean, she does. Like a, a younger version of Angelina. But she's so much more than just someone that looks like, you know? No. Yeah, well, she is. Você pode passar plano à vontade agora, entendeu? Porque tem bastante por aí. Ai, tudo bem. Falta Is that a... Eduardo, Eduardo. Ué, não, 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 Oh, that's so cute! Para de enrolação! Posso abrir aqui, Valentina? Is it a dildo, Valentina? Sabe que não seria uma má ideia? Hum, tu tá bem louco. Tá <risos> Eu tô indo, tá? Estranho. <risos> Eu vou levar o Léo pra minha casa. Tá, tá bom, obrigada. Pra você curtir essa noite sem juízo com a sua esposa. Hum, deixa comigo. Ok. <risos> Bandida. <risos> Eu tô grávida. <risos> Really? Oh, oh. <laughs> She's happy. Pearl 
think she's happy? Okay, what the fuck is happening? Didn't you want... I'm confusion. Okay, guys, so that was the end of season... Season... No, there, there's no season. This is the Christmas special for Stupid Wife. Four parts, four episodes, all combined in this same reaction. Uh, thing is... Then I'm kind of confused. So, I'm, I'm a little bit confused. I'm going to be honest, okay? But I, I feel like things are adding up, which is a good thing for me, right? Okay, so first of all, uh, we find out that Valentina looks like... I mean, this is what I understood. You guys are going to correct me if I'm wrong. So Valentina, right, uh, can have babies, right? It's not possible for her to conceive a baby. I mean, she can have babies because she's already a mom. But, like, she can biologically conceive a child. Not even through uh, artificial insemination. Um, so... I, I, uh, we have that. And for a minute I thought, oh, that's our answer, right? That's the traumatic thing. But it's, it, she can conceive, meaning she didn't conceive a baby, right? Meaning she didn't l lose a baby. And now we know that Christmas of 2021. I don't know when the show is set. Is it set in 2022? Or something like that? I don't know. But the thing is that... Uh, Luisa... Right? Luisa... Wanted to give that to Leo. Because Leo was asking for for a sibling. And so she wanted to give that to to him... And she did all of this behind Valentina's back. Uh, their friend, sister, I don't know. She was like, you should talk to her, blah, blah, blah. Because like, how will you feel? You know, hiding this from her, whatever. Uh, but Valentina is happy that she's about to be a mom for a second time. Uh, we have heard of her saying how much of a blessing uh, kids are, right? But we know that eventually she will not give birth to a baby and she's actually going to have a miscarriage, right? So my theory of, like, it's Valentina, the one that got pregnant and, and had a miscarriage, it's not... It wasn't completely off, but it's not what triggered Luisa to lose her memory, right? And that this story that we just saw on this uh, Christmas special, it's something that Valentina has not told Luisa. And now I understand fully why the decision of telling her or not was left to Val Valentina because it's something that is very much for a couple, you know, to decide whether if they, um, uh, if she tells her or not. I feel like she should have, you know, but since is the reason why she got, you know, the, the, why she lost her memory and all of this in the first place, of course, you gotta be scared of whether you tell her or not. So I understand, I understand Valentina's he hesitation towards this, you know, um, but now it's a, a little bit more clear, right? That. Valentina can conceive a baby. Her mom is a bitch. And Luisa was pregnant and she's the one that lost, uh, I mean, miscarriage, had a miscarriage, you know. So I think for the central plot, I think we are kind of like a little bit more like we understand it a little bit more, which is good. Um, and then we... 
of course, this episode, this entire four episode um, for the Christmas episode was extremely, extremely cute. Beautiful. Uh, mostly because we, you know, we when we get when we first get to meet them, they are not in a relationship. They are in, you know, uh, college. Uh, <laughs> uh, Luisa called her stupid. She thought she was, you know, just a, a, a brat, basically. Um, and she was, uh, you know, very, very judgmental of who Valentina was. But they fell in love. And that part we didn't got to see other than in the videos that they show us throughout the first season. But right now, this is something that is just, it's them being a couple, you know, uh, going through things together, protecting each other, things like that, you know, and, and, and honestly, witnessing that in real time, not through a, uh, a, a video or through, you know, Luisa's perspective or anything like that, but we're just seeing them be, it's beautiful. It, it's honestly it was beautiful. The chemistry between the actresses, I mean, I can have an entire tech talk saying like how how amazing it is, how beautiful they are together, uh, the level of intimacy they have. Like it's on point. Whoever cast them, and they, I don't know if they do the same thing as in Hollywood where they do the chemistry tests and things like that, but whoever cast them as the leading ladies nailed it because they they just they feed off each other so well not only in the sex scenes okay because the sex scenes are like the hottest thing out there other scenes like this are only you know you're gonna compare them to what the l word but like the l word is is in such another level because they are allowed more nudity you know but like you can compare them like to the greatest sex scenes that we have had uh most recently on Gap, then you have, you know, uh, Wynonna Earp and like shows that are really focusing on the queer fandom. And like, for me, it's not so much. Of course, they look incre incredibly hot in the shower, all wet, kissing each other and all of that. But for me, it's the level of intimacy that they they are able to achieve on those moments, you know, where they explore their entire bodies. And I'm like, I'm, I, I, I just, I'm like, I can't believe that I'm witnessing this incredibly, like, amazing couple. Honestly, they are, like, they're blowing my mind, honestly. But the chemistry, like I said, the intimacy, the touches, which don't come only on the sex scenes, but you can see them just, you know, holding each other's hands or, like, just... You know, doing little gestures, you know, that are very couple like That's the part. Those are the parts and the intimacy that I'm talking about, you know. And they have it. And they, they, you know, they, they, they are incredible at that. And that's what makes this show. And that's what gets you so invested on, uh, on the story, honestly. Um, the mom. We hate her, you know. And I'm with Lisa because she's like... I'm pretty sure this is not the first time the mom has said something terribly awful to Valentina and then come like, I come in peace, you know? And like, honestly, bless Valentina's is hard because she believes that people can change and she is willing to give people chances and all of that. But honest to God, that woman, it's horrible. You cannot, how is it that you can say something as destructive as you are useless? Like, not even with, like, artificial insemination, you can get pregnant or something like that. Like, how rotten to the core can you be, you know, to say things like this to your own daughter? Like, I'm with Luisa. You know, like, she's like, oh, she's so cute. Like, not believing half of what the, the things that, that she's saying. Right? Like, right. The dad is there telling her, come on, Valentina. 
uh, I mean, Luisa, just calm down. You know, it's Valentina's mom. Mom, sometimes I like that. Protective. Protective my ass, okay? Because, like, we moms, we protective. Yes. But we love, you love your children no matter what, okay? You don't, th th that's that thing. And I have always said it, and I I'll always said it. It's just that we as parents need to take this idea off of our heads that our kids belong to us because when we are whether if you're a parent a, 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 a father a mother whatever okay when you're a parent you have all these ideas of what your child could be right but at the end of the day it's not your life or your dreams the ones that this kid has to achieve They will want to do whatever they will want to do. And you are there to support them, to guide them through a good path, of course, right? Of course, you, you don't want to, you know, see your kid becoming, I don't know, a criminal or something like that. Of course not. That In that regard, of course, you have to be present and you have to guide them through uh, a, a good path. But in, in terms of their gender, their sexuality, uh, their even their faith, you know, all of that, and 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 who they choose to marry, who they, what they choose to be, how how do they express themselves in the world, whatever. You're there to support them. You're not there to judge them. You're not there to say you know you don't meet the expectations. You like there are so many parents that give like tell children that in order for you to to have my love you have to achieve this or this or this or that that is so fucked up it's completely different that you challenge your kids because you believe that they are incredible and you challenge them to like be better, to do more, I know you can do it, like, support them, you know, that's completely different than thinking, oh, my kid is gonna be a lawyer once he grow up, the kid can't even wipe his own ass, and the mom is already, mom or dad is already choosing what they're gonna work for the next, you know, when they're 20, and then for the next 20, 30 years of their lives, how is it that you plan the life of your kids, That's so fucked up. You need to get this idea off our heads that our kids belong to us. They don't belong to us. We're here to guide them, to love them. We're not here to put our dreams onto them and then expect that they follow through and be disappointed when they don't do what we thought it was good for them in regards of choosing the life that they want to live. Right? I'm not saying when it's a bad thing. Of course, if it's a bad thing, of course, you're going to be there telling them not to do that. Right? But you know what I mean? I don't believe in her regret. And we have seen it because years later, when they go back into the house, Valentina's mom is still a bitch. Honestly. Toxic people, we don't need them in our lives. And sometimes toxic people come from our family and it is okay to cut ties with that, with, 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 with them because it's toxic, because it hurts us and because we don't need to subject ourselves to continue to traumatize us just because we want them, you know, we want the family and we want, because honestly, I wouldn't want a person like that in my life and in my children's life. Look, I went through that. You're not going through that with my mom. Like, I wouldn't let my child spend five minutes with that bitch. I'm sorry. That's just that. That's just me. I don't know about you guys, but that's just me. Anyways, I like this episode. It was really... Uh, I mean, I like this entire four-episode uh, Christmas special. It was very beautiful. It was hot as well. I, did, I, was, I was expecting a sex scene, and I got it, and like... They are incredible, by the way. So, I don't know what to do now, though, for season two. I do not want to watch trailers. Since the episodes are, like, the episode is already out, I don't know if I want to watch a trailer for the second season. 
So I feel like I'm just going to jump into the second season. Like just watch the first episode. Sadly, I can't watch the second episode of season two, even though it's posted on that website where you can buy it. Why? Why you think? Because I don't speak Portuguese fluently. I understand a few things, but it doesn't have subtitles. So I'm going to miss things. So it's, it's, there's no point, right? So what I'm going to do, because I've been telling you guys to support it, is that I'm going to do the other channel. I'm going to support the other channel, join the other channel so I can watch like behind the scenes and shit like that, support it that way. And then maybe I can do like a, like, like we can do a live stream and I can, I don't know, I don't know how to do it, but like gift the episode Uh, to, to a Brazilian that actually, or someone that actually speaks um, Portuguese fluently and they can watch it ahead of time uh, or, or something like that, you know, because I do want to support the show because I, I, I've been having the best time and we need to support uh, creators, you know, so that, that will be my way of supporting. Sadly, I'm not going to be able to watch it one episode ahead of people on YouTube because it doesn't have subtitles, sadly. Hopefully they do add the subtitles because it does have two links. It has a link for Brazilians and it has a li link for inter international fans. And international fans, not all of us speak Portuguese. So if they wanna, if they truly want to reach that audience, they need to be, like, the, the subtitles need to be there available for us you know so until they do i'm gonna hold on uh and not buy it because it will be just i'm not gonna understand anything i will understand some things but not the entirety of the episode you know so yeah anyways that's it i hope you guys enjoy hope you guys like it hope you guys continue supporting for more give a lot of thumbs up if you love um stupid wife uh continue supporting for more you guys are amazing uh thank you for watching you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this one as well uh but for now that's about it thank you for watching i'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for a stupid wife that's it Mwah. see you guys in season two bye